Today I'm going to show you how to completely erase a hard drive and that you can never get it back with boot and nuke and why you should use this. But what you should do first is back up your stuff today on the video and on the next one I'm going to show you how to reinstall Windows 98 second edition. Here's your new computer, Ma. <gasps> oh, Nikki, thank you. Oh, goodness gracious. No, no turn it on. Okay. Oh, look, I'm so excited. I'm turning it on. <gasps> oh, look what's all on here, Nick. What is it? Oh, I... Dude, I should have backed up. Oh, gosh. Want to start over? Oh, I need to back up all those files and delete them. Oh, shoot, I didn't do that. Gosh. That can be very embarrassing, so you don't want that to happen to you. So that's why you go to Derek's Boot and Nuke. It's dban.sourceforge.net. And you'll see how to spell it, you know, when I give it a URL. Okay, and it's called Derek's Boot and Nuke. You know, it's called dban. And you can, I want you to read the README file, okay? Now, you can put it on CD, or you can put it on a floppy disk or a USB flash drive. I'm going to use a CD. Now what you want to do is you want to click which one you're going to use. And what you want to do then is you're going to download it. And it's going to be a file, but then you're going to have to burn it to your CD. Alright, so you'll want to download it. And then what happens when you're done burning your CD and, and, and everything's going well, you should have, your, your CD should automatically, you know, exit out and such and such. And you're going to want to burn the CD with your um, thingamabob that you use. And we use, what do we use? I can't remember. We use Roxio. Thanks. Now, to get that out, you know, your computer, when it's done burning and it's burning complete with your program, should automatically come out of the CD drive when done. There's your freshly burned DBAN CD. Now, let's go to the computer that I want to wipe out the hard drive. This is the computer I'm choosing to wipe out the hard drive, so when I, the last time I shut it down, I left the CD drawer open. Insert your CD. Close the lid. Power on the computer. It will turn on and it should boot from the CD automatically. However, if your BIOS is not configured, it says press F2. It will now enter setup. <coughs> Load to BIOS. Now, go to boot. That's the merit. Now, I have number one and make it the first thing to look at as the CD ROM drive. Then I have the hard drive last. Then you can exit, exit to saving changes, and yes. Now, it should boot from your DMN CD. No, just copying the file you downloaded onto the CD isn't going to work. But you need the bootable image. Now, but when you burn it, you get the bootable image on the CD. I guess. So now it should boot the CD with a blue screen. It should, yeah. Now, warning, the software and covering the source data. Now, you're going to want you can type auto nuke and it'll just start erasing but if you want to be more cautiously to make sure everything gets off press the enter key and it'll start in interactive mode so please hold and it's gonna turn on loading it takes a little while just to load and then a whole bunch of screen pops up so so then you know when that comes up that menu you can um do some more stuff here it is now, it, before you start to wipe, you'll want to, you have two partitions. And you have an IBM partition and a, just an untouched partition. Press the spacebar to select both of them. I want them both erased, so you press the spacebar. When that says wipe, and those stars mean it's going to erase the other one. Then, for more options, press the M key. Now, this comes out. And if you want to secure me and make sure everything is erased, do D-O-B, D-O-D, 5220.22-M, and then press the Enter key. Make sure those are selected, and press the F10 button. Now, it will start doing it. And it can take a real, real, real long time. But you know what? Now you're erasing your hard drive. And so now everything's lost. As I said, don't do it just because you want to back up your stuff first. 
and if you're giving it to someone like that, and, you know, pressing the delete key just deletes it so you can't find it. But you can still find it by doing some search. Okay, but listen, give. Yeah. You have to reinstall the operating system when you do this. And I, and that's why my instructions after this will show you how to reinstall the operating system. Do not do this unless you have a good reason to. They said, don't do this because you need to or something. And if you're giving your computer away, even reinstalling Windows by formatting the hard drive, you can still find your stuff. Very hard, but it is possible. But with this program, once you to do it, it's impossible, no matter what, to get your work back. So, you're just doing it because you have to do it. But you're going to want to have it backed up, whether it's on an external hard drive, a memory stick, a bunch of CDs or DVDs, or, you know, even on the web storage. Don't do it unless you have your stuff backed up. And back up the stuff you can't live without. Okay. Of course I can do it on this computer because I have no care for this computer and I don't use this computer that much. I use that computer just to do all the crazy crap on it, okay? But don't try this unless you mean to. Thanks.